Chapter 2 Sketching Walls Soft plan is most effective when the design is roughly sketched on the screen. Soft plan's intuitive dimensioning and editing commands will be used later to quickly convert the design into a set of working drawings. To begin, right click and select Wall. Wall types will vary from region to region. However, the steps to drawing walls are the same. For this example, select the 2x6 and brick wall to begin. The status bar will list the command selected. In this case, draw wall, the tape measure to guide the length of the wall, the angle at which the wall is being drawn, and the type of wall being used. To begin, move the cursor to the upper left corner of the drawing and click the left mouse button to mark the starting point of the wall. Move the cursor approximately 36 feet to the right. As this is only a sketch, precision is not important at this point. Click the button to mark the end point of the 2x6 brick wall. Move the cursor a short distance above the line on whichever side to place the brick surface and click. Soft plan will draw a 2x6 and brick wall that is approximately 36 feet in length, with the brick facing toward the top of the screen. For the connecting wall, move the cursor down from the end point of this wall. Soft plan will automatically use that end point as a start point for this next wall. Once again, using the tape measure as a guide, move the cursor down the screen to approximately 30 feet and click the button. Soft plan will draw the wall, automatically aligning the materials brick to brick, stud to stud. If desired, click the 3D textured tab and continue sketching the drawing in the 3D model. Move the cursor to the left approximately 36 feet. When the crosshairs of the cursor are aligned with the start point of the first wall drawn, click the mouse. Complete the drawing by moving the cursor to the start point of the first wall and click. The walls have been closed. Soft plan automatically frees the cursor while maintaining the draw wall command. Note the 3D view and 3D camera boxes that reside at the bottom of the navigation menu, which will allow for the model to be viewed from various perspectives. Select the blue directional arrows located on the 3D view control. The model will be oriented such that the camera is positioned from that side of the model, looking down at a 45 degree angle. Once again, select another direction arrow and the 3D model will be rotated to that view. Additionally, the red circle located inside the outer ring of the directional arrows can be selected to both rotate the model as well as to control the vertical incline at which the model will be viewed. The red circle could be thought of as a dome positioned over the model. The closer to the center that the red circle is clicked, the steeper the angle at which the model will be viewed. Furthermore, the bottom of the red circle is always representative of the perspective that is currently being viewed. Thus, if the red circle is clicked at the top, the model will be rotated to view the opposite side. If, however, it is clicked on the bottom, the view will only be slightly adjusted regardless of whether it is the front or rear of the house that is currently on screen. Finally, the blue circle in the middle will generate the model looking from the top down. Select the directional arrow key to view the front of the model. By scrolling the mouse wheel, the model camera will be zoomed in or out in stepped increments. The plus and minus will zoom the model in or out, respectively, and the arrows will rotate the camera in the direction illustrated by the arrow. 
The 3D camera control will allow for the view of the model to be panned, either left or right, or up and down, by simply selecting the appropriate button. Finally, by clicking and holding the mouse wheel down and moving the mouse, the model can be orbited.